Hi, welcome. This is a short review of my begonias. This is the update of what actually survived. Uh, but they are doing strong actually. It's quite stable now compared for the four months. Uh, prior to the earlier video that I showed, I just want to show more in depth what I actually have here. I will list on all the names in, in the in the description below of all the name of the begonias but as for now i just want to show more on the focus of how they actually appear to be this begonia chivalry seems to be the most strongest and very hardy uh, i would really recommend if you can find this do do cultivate them because compared to other begonias this seems to be one of the best that i found so far uh, as you can see this is actually a mob whip. I just roll them up. You can see clearly. It's actually inside the uh, a basket. Uh, this basket. And uh, I actually put a sort of like this is actually a slab, uh, a, a tile slab just to give support on this pot. I'm just going to show you the overall of how I've done it. So there is actually three frames of, uh, uh, actually it's a tray, three trays. As I mentioned, there's three trays here. I have actually planted this leaf actually about three months. A new, a new shoot has come out over here, you can notice it. Some of it actually grown by leaves. I just roll the leaf and put it inside. And they actually stay both. Some of it is just uh, cutting. So this particular one I just put a cutting here and it's also stable. I just show more detail of what I've done. This is I think silver limbo. You know, basically what I do is I roll up the rhizome and put it together with the uh, the mop wick and somehow they just stabilize and grow but some of it did not survive so it's a plus plus minus thing uh, just want to show you so this is how I do it just roll it and just poke it this this is a recent leaf so I think about another three months three months time whether there will be new shoots coming out from it I also put apicias inside. Uh, this is blue now actually. I've not seen them blooming, but it's quite uh, sensitive type. There's a different type. It is grown very well. There's this one. You can see it. Yeah. Okay, this is my flower pot. I sealed it up with the cement and actually have some aquatic plants. Also, I have fish inside those to deter uh, mosquitoes. And not much of sunlight here, but uh, it get partial sunlight over here, so they seem to do better compared to fully shaped. Okay. Uh, let me show you the overall of it. Okay, this particular one. Now this is the the flower pot actually. I have some aquatic plants together with fish. Normally live bearers, uh, the platys and some uh, what you call it guppies inside just to control that there won't be any mosquitoes inside I mean that is this just to simplify it uh, this particular pot is actually it was with holes and I just cement them up I raised it out with some uh, bricks just to keep it high uh, there's not many types here I'm just want to show you. They do flower, but uh, 
they are not showy but uh, they have some powers just want to show it to you one particular uh, if, you can, if you can notice it I'm not sure you can see it okay this is a new one current which I just placed it Ah, yes, this one. Can you see this? This acetosa, there is a new leaf forming from there. Ah, this one. So, you have to be patient and see how it behaves. So, overall, uh, I, I would say this is a, a good way of cultivating if you are. Uh, Finding begonias challenging, and uh, the other thing here is that uh, compared to soil medium, you can try this, and you can just observe and see how they do. I I, I really not I I'm actually uh, not focusing on propagating them simply because I find that. Uh, maintaining them is, is quite difficult actually so it's more of a trial and watch and see how they actually do okay this particular begonia if you can see uh, this is actually growing in the pot and so is this The sun has gone down actually, so it's a bit of the evening now. It's actually about five o'clock now. I think it's going to rain anytime soon. But uh, just want to show some of the cane begonias that I've cultivated. Maculata. This big type, I'm not wrong. I, I just like the polka dot features that they give over here. Apparently, the polka dot do tend to disappear if they grown a bit bigger, so it's more of a juvenile uh, effect. There are some types that actually flower when they're smaller, so I'm not, I'm not sure uh, how 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 to justify some that flowers and some that don't. Continuing the collection, this is a black velvet begonia. It's not doing so well compared to the previous one that I have. Just hoping that it will spring back. But the, this is the idea of the black velvet. If you can see the sheen, it is more visible in the, towards the night and the condition of the leaf is good. Then it will be much more better to be noticed. But this is uh, the leaves are a bit spent, so you don't have the full glory of it. I don't know you can actually notice it, but not really there. Yeah, there. Can you see? That that's the best I can get. But if the leaf is perfect condition, you can really see the blue sheen over it. Uh, this is another one. It looks more like an ash burnt leaf, but uh, the uniqueness of begonia is that they have beautiful, beautiful uh, leaf uh, textures and colors that is unique from so many species. This is another one, Manaus. I had some tough time with them. I was slowly coming back. It's supposed to be a hardy plant. 
uh, but no begonia they are so unpredictable you can see also the hairy texture that quite beautiful actually I used to have this uh, in full bush but now it's like dying away uh, the new ones are coming back slowly I think a lot to do with the uh, feeding you put a wrong uh, fertilizer and they tend to become dormant and die away so they, quite, they are a sensitive plant it is a challenging thing this one is the uh, burning bush cane begonia uh, this particular variety has this you can see that that's not an amazing thing about this particular cane I've tied up you know they tend to fall away and there's another one that I have here Lucerna if I'm not wrong a bit more of cane begonias burning bush when they receive hot sun they tend to turn more redder and more on a bronze color this is the back version of it I want to show you this particular portion where I place my the same begonia because it's uh, exposed to sun. The the furry portion of it seems to have this white spots on them. So that's another mystery with them. They they tend to morph to something else altogether I'm trying to cultivate a Martin mystery begonia one of the most hardest begonias hardy begonias I would really like you to cultivate this if you are a beginner or you want to start begonias this, this is quite a good one to begin with it's another same one burning bush begonia what I've done is uh, I just poke them in each neat hook and corner. You never know suddenly they just die away. So consider them as temporary plants in, in this context. I have uh, planted them here too. Just waiting for it to pick up. I'm not really sure when it's going to start picking up. Uh, these are the hardy ones. Some of them bloomed. And this particular one. Flowers are not so big show. Like uh, certain begonias have beautiful flowers. Uh, this, these are just like... Okay, it's very ornamental but uh, nothing to shout about. And uh, this is another set that I have not shown lately. I put a, a cane there and a new sprout is coming over there. And also some new, new sprouts, new growth on them. You can see this new growth. So it works, it's just a lot of patience is required to work with this mock wig system. Those earlier ones that I had, I've shown in the earlier videos. And beautiful fringe. 
also acetosol. Not doing so well, but it's a life that's the most important thing. Also, art hold. This is a very thin leaf plant, but it's also stable. The you can see it's been like bending and going everywhere. But the, it's actually just one plant. And uh, this one is the same thing. Uh, but this is more in total shape. You notice that it has lost all the spots when it's in total shape. It's more dark. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that don't take them for granted. Continue to propagate them when they have overgrown. Like this one, it's about high time for me to propagate it. Because if before you know it, at the end part here, it will start to rot. It will be too, too late to be noticed with any difference. Another one that I have is this one. Uh, I'm so sorry about the names, it's just that uh, there are so many variety of cultivars and hybrids, you just can't actually identify them in this case. And another one here, the same one earlier I kept. If I'm not wrong, this is a dis uh, lucerna. If you notice that I've actually placed all my begonias in in all the shade, no crook and corner. Somehow I find that they do best in this kind of condition rather than the open space. Also this. I find the greener ones do better in this kind of position because they get partial sunlight. But that's the thing, uh, they are not so perfect. Well, sometimes it's just that they survive and, and they just tend to disappear. If the environment and the position is being compromised, and this one I'm, I'm not sure it could be maculata, but this is more towards the sun, so the spots are fading away. You can see that it's not very green, it's more very burnt burnt green I have not seen them flowering yet other than that uh, I do have uh, Martin Mystery in this new cook and corner it not clearly shortly now you can see the rest of the Martin Mystery Begonias this side so they face the, the outside gate this is the fluorescent as I said uh, this particular type the flowers are not really showy They do form seeds, but uh, it's quite uh, difficult to grow them in the seed propagation. It will be much more easier if it's actually used as uh, stem uh, rhizome propagation. Then over here, I also have them in this particular pot. You can see it's more in a shape. Well, basically this is my collection. I hope you really enjoyed. 
feel free to click subscribe and like on my videos i really appreciate and hope to see you soon thank you so much